Similar to English, in Hebrew, we have many so-called negative words and expressions. However, as opposed to these similar phrases in English, in Hebrew, we must add an additional negation to the sentence in order to construct it correctly. In this tutorial, we'll review these words in no particular order, and I'll use real-life examples to show you how to use them correctly. Without further ado, let's begin. Af echad. We use af echad to say no one or nobody. The word af is translated here and in all the following afs as in not even, meaning here we're saying not even one person. Af echad lo po or ein po af echad. Both of these are valid ways to say there is no one here. Beshum often or Beshum panim. Beshum often and Beshum panim are both used as there is no chance in the world. Beshum often literally means in no manner. Beshum panim literally means there is no way. At lo holechet la mesiba ha'erev beshum often. There is not a chance in the world that you're going to the party this evening. Beshum panim ani lo ochel et ochel azeh. There is no chance in the world I'm eating this food. Check out this cool phenomenon. When these two powerful phrases are attached, they form. There is no way in hell this would ever happen. This phrase is obviously used mainly by teachers and parents. Ata beshum panim vaofen lo kofetz bungee. There is no way in hell you're taking a bungee jump. Af makom and shum makom. We use af makom when saying not a single place, and shum makom when wanting to say nowhere. There is no house like this anywhere in Israel. He isn't going anywhere until he cleans his room. The word klum is used as nothing at all. Hem lo yodim alai klum. They don't know anything about me. Shum davar. An alternative and usually interchangeable word to klum is shum davar. Ein li shum davar batik. I have nothing at all in my backpack. Af pam. We use af pam, literally not even once, as an equivalent to never. Af pam lo raiti oto. I have never seen him before. Meolam. We use meolam to express never before, very similar to af pam, and can be at times interchangeable. Meolam lo haiti babayit shela. I've never been before in her house. An additional alternative to meolam and af pam is b'chaim, literally, in the life. Basically, we're kind of saying here, never in my life. This expression can be used very similarly to the two we've just seen right now. B'chaim lo chashavti al zekacha. Never in my life have I thought of it that way. The expression b'chaim also has a second meaning. It can also be used as that is never going to happen again. Ani b'chaim lo lech l'sham shuv. Never in my life am I going back there again. In conclusion, in Hebrew, similar to other languages around the world, we have many double negations, and I hope this tutorial gave you some clarity regarding how to use them correctly. Until next time, yalla bye!